What's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the next mission here. This engine room is locked out tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up. Okay. Seems easy enough. Although... I have my doubts about having explosives on a plane. It feels like out of all places to put an explosive, something that is floating might not be the best idea. Might not be the best idea. Come on, broski, why you walk so slow? What are you getting paid for? Walk faster. Although. When we were pickpocketing these guys to make a little bit of money, half of them were carrying, like, small nuggets. They were broke boys, so... Wait. Did I just run past one? Oh, but there is one right here. Let's go ahead and grab this one first, since we're next to it. We tiptoeing. I love his little E animation. Boink. Okay, where to next? There's one over there and one over there. Okay, so I definitely think we go to this one and then we head back towards there. Because also, the engine itself should be in the other direction. So it's easier to grab this one, head back, grab the other one, and then we'll just be closer to the engine room. I think I'm just going to drop. I think it might be the easiest way to do this. Oops. There we go. He can't see me if he's not even here. Also, why couldn't I just, like, walk around with Sly and grab them, and then attach them to my device? Is it necessary for me to carry the whole explosive with me? Okay, so now we need to get up higher, so... We need to get on one of these things. Oh, I can't get up? I need to go all the way around. Noted. Also, is that A for arpeggio? I'm guessing, right? That would make sense. Might have to sit for a moment here. Alright, walk past me, bird brain. With your fake knees. Just another explosive device. Ignore me, you know. I look a little different, but who doesn't? Now, the real question is, can I boing on this thing? I'm gonna assume I can, considering they put a stairs for me here. That's also funny. Instead of doing the boing thing, they literally brought me all the way up slowly. That's kind of funny. Okay. Yeah, I knew I needed to get a little higher for this last one, so... What up? Clock, how you doing? I like your... I like your wings. They're pretty cool. Can I have them? Goodbye. I guess she doesn't want to talk. Alright. Just another explosive. This one's floating a little bit. Yeah, he's the weird one. Look, it's a floating barrel. Look at him, not me. Bye bye. With the TNT barrel all charged up, it's time to deliver the payload to that engine. Okay, so it's gonna be a little hard. I'm actually gonna have to go across the tilty thing. So I'm gonna have to catch it at the right angle, because if I catch it like near the end, I probably will fall off. Nothing to look at, just a explosive barrel in the middle of a bridge on a plane a couple miles up. Nothing suspicious, I guarantee it. I think I'll make it. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll be fine. Alright, where do I need to set it down? Ooh. What are you guys doing? <gasps> Not legal. 
even if it's technically like a terrorist organization or a thief, this has to be illegal. Or against like some war crime, right? Okay. Alright, engine. Later, my guy. Should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. Cool. All the engines are destroyed. Bentley, give me the give me the PowerPoint. What are we doing? What do we what do we have in our horizons here? And an unexpected windfall. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Clockla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. Let's go, Carmelita. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. All right, Bentley, I got you. Sly, I'm guessing he's the man for this job, right? Yes, he is. Get out of my way. Okay, Sly. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blimp. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. It does sound like fun, actually. Oh. Ooh, that is a high jump. All right. That is cool. I wish we had that during the normal game. Okay, so... Oh. Where are we? Dude, can you leave me alone? What are you, obsessed with me? Get your girlfriend, get out of here. Get the... Oh, we're not even near where we're supposed to be. Okay. Noted. I'm nowhere near... I am in the wrong location. Don't, don't do that. Let your parents teach you to be nice to other people. What's wrong with you? Alright, we could probably super jump from here and then go somewhere. Alright, so let's go ahead and super jump. Can we make it to that platform? I think we can. No! I think we're... No! <laughs> That's okay. There's a ladder right here. Whoop! Um, nothing to see here. Treasure? I don't need the treasure, but I'm stealing it from you because you almost caught me. I don't appreciate it. What do you got, a nugget? Medium nugget. I don't like you. I'm actually going to kill you. If you would have had any, if you would have had anything better, I wouldn't have killed him, but. Oh, God. Okay. Woo. This is sick. Boink. Boosted. There's the next one. So there's one there, there, and there. And I guess we will go to that one next. We could even almost just ride all the way over there. We're pretty close. Let me jump here. Jump here. Whoop. Boink. This is so cool. Oh my god, I love this map. Because we're, we're just... I'm obsessed with maps that are just high. I don't know why. I mean, I, okay, I guess it's a natural instinct for most people in video games. So I said this screen is so popular. I don't think it's the story of the characters. I think it's you can go high and then jump. I think that's the fun part. I'm saying that with sarcasm. Just in case you guys didn't detect that. But I do love jumping from high places. And very long glides. Um, I guess I'll just keep smacking my head at the top of the boards until I figure out where I need to go here. Alright, one more to go. Can I jump on top of this? Is this a climbable thing? It is a climbable thing. That's sick. Dude, you wanna wonder. Maybe I don't need... Can I just... 
do that and then not even climb the thing just go straight to it no I can't but that was pretty close Blink. Whoop. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to jump in. Oh, what up? Dang, she got close. Now, let's try to get on the right thing this time. Good job, Sly. 98%. Look at us. We're almost there. Alright, what is that? How many does Gunner? Man, why can't I keep the jet or the mega mega boost jump thing? That thing was cool. They should have they should have let us keep that. See, if that thing was in the safe, that last safe, that would make me a happy man. But at least we can just glide all the way over here. Whoop. I don't want to fight. Later. Look, Sly, for once, let's cut the flirty chit chat and get down to business. I need an experienced tail gunner. Jump in and grab the gun. We've got a bird to take down. That's not flirty chit chat. <laughs> oh, oh, we're just jumping right in. Oh, my controls are inverted. I think I know what to do. I just gotta <laughs> be better, I guess. Gotta get good. Shoot a couple at her head here. Fall, fall, fall. Shoot a couple at her body. Ooh, we got a nice, nice couple shots in there. Let's go take out these red things. Ooh. Get a couple of body shots here. Let it cool down because I'm gonna have to shoot a couple of these red things down. Oh, I missed quite a couple there. Let's take these things out early. Okay, so I just have to shoot it once to get its electricity weight. I don't have to shoot it multiple times. That's, that was the mistake I kept making. I assumed I had to hit this thing a whole bunch. I just have to hit it the one time. Uh, that one's gonna... I didn't know... How, how do I avoid those big red ones? I don't actually know. He, Papa kept shooting those big red ones, but I don't know how to dodge them, actually. I'm gonna get that one out of the way so I don't have to go too far. Oh yeah, there we go. Shoot that one. That one. Oh, I almost missed it. I totally whiffed a lot of those. I don't... Again, I don't know how to dodge those, actually. I wonder, are they undodgeable? Get that one out of the way. That one, that one. Oh, did I disable both of those on accident? I'm sick. Oh, I... <laughs> You tricked me with that one. I did not see that turret, actually. Oh yeah, she's throwing in some curveballs here. Throwing them in places where I can't see. Oh, she done. I'm a cause it into that. Are we going down? So we're going to the ground then, huh? Maybe not. Oh, all right. Oh, he's still sneaking. Um. Oh, that sucks. All right, here we go. 
I just need things to tilt in the direction that I need them to. And then with things like this, I just need to not hit their propeller, which I'm very prone to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that entire building and just go to this one. Yeah, I made it super close, but then I hit a propeller. I'm coming, Bentley, I'm coming. Not really anyone else here to help you, huh? I don't I don't think the cops particularly want to help. That's just a guess though. I'm sorry, Bentley. Literally. Is it literally, Bentley? Is it literally? I almost missed that. Very close to missing. Alright, I'm coming. Last jump. I'm coming, Bentley. Don't be scared. You probably should be scared, actually. We're kind of in a bad situation here, but... I'm coming. Ooh. Still the low down backstabbing coward we beat you time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can. Why not? Alright, let's go smack her in the head, you doofus. Okay. Oh, it doesn't hit her wing, it hits me. Oh! I literally got okay. I gotta smack her in the head, but how do I Oh, I literally just... Okay. I overthought the crap out of that. Here we go. I'll just hit her in the head. You good? Are you, are you okay, Clockwork? Ooh, those are some nice talons you got there. Very shiny. Do I just, like... Oh, can you just climb up here? Hello. I would like one eyeball, please. Whoops. Oh, uh, goodbye. Um, okay. Hmm. Do I... <laughs> Man, they are not giving me any clues about this, huh? They just... Oh, he'll for... Okay, here's our head. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Smack. That thing's still kicking. Lagla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. Let's do it. Murray's going. He going crazy. He going X game smoke. All right, Bentley, get up in there with your bombs, homeboy. I hate you, Cooper Gang. I'll find you when you're sleeping. I will destroy you. You will never know a moment's peace for the rest of your short, miserable lives. The clock lock will know revenge. I am revenge. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Clock lock. Hey, dude. Oh, that's gotta that's gotta be like break some religion right there. <laughs> All right. You know what I wonder? Can I throw a bomb in there? I think that would be kind of funny. Do I have to place one, or can I just like lob one in there? Okay, I can't. Apparently, I can't just blow her up like this. Ooh, it did break something though. Okay. Was I supposed to do that? That's interesting. Alright, let's go in. Let's get out of here! She's about to explode! Ah! My glasses! Huh? Bentley! I'll save you! Come on, 
Sly, let's get out of here! And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand, the hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So, I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kinda clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail. Yeah, what a great game. Such an improvement from the first one. This is just like such a classic case of when there's a game and it's good, and they really take the next step and make it better in every single way there is not a single thing in this game that is a downgrade from sly one but almost everything is an upgrade there's not a single thing that isn't so i don't know i think um this is a really really great game i can't say any more than that usually i have things to critique about a game nothing to critique here um, I think this game, for its time, couldn't do much better than this, to be honest. And... Ooh. Nice. Classy as always. Continues the search for... Current whereabouts are still unknown, so they she doesn't know where he's at. Cool. I wonder if there's gonna... Oh, Dimitri went on work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. Okay, so we're gonna get a little update on everyone. Super sick. Jean now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. Okay. Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the greater Milwaukee area. Okay. Went on to work for the EPA. Ended up frozen yet again on the rescue mission, saving baby penguins. Okay. Very cool. 
And I'm sure we'll be seeing a couple of those characters soon. No spoilers, but we'll be seeing a couple of them. But yeah, what a great game. And honestly, I'm just as excited for Sly 3. Okay, that's it. You've seen everything. You won. God, Sly, no, don't tell me what to do. It's, it's winter, dude. It's, there's snow out. So did we 100% the game? That's my question. 100%. The game is 100% done. We got all the bottles, all the treasures, all the moves, all the missions. Very cool. Okay, so you guys know where we're going. We're going slide 3 next, and I'm almost just as excited. A lot. Of, there's a very hot debate whether 2 or 3 is the best game. Um, it depends on how you look at it. I think... Well, I guess we'll have to play 3, but from what I remember, 3 is a better game, like the game itself is more fun, but 2 was such an upgrade from the first one, it's like, it's hard, you know, because 2 is, well, wait, there was a little thing at the corner, 2 is a classic, but 3 is a masterpiece, so I don't, alright everybody, so that's it, let's go ahead and end the video here, and I'll see you guys in slide 3.